Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm looking at this no lift slot loading kind of super drive knockoff and a client has an issue with it. The DVD that they've got inside it won't come out and it's quite an important DVD so we need to get this one out. They've had a go at prying this already and it hasn't gone particularly well so we're going to finish this off and uh, take out the kind of slot loader. These kind of uh, Chinese super drive knockoffs you'll find on Amazon they've got really excellent reviews but they're kind of a bit crap. Um, it's always a good idea when you use these USB ones to get one with a button which will eject the CD because uh, otherwise they'll get stuck like this. Um, for some, I think what was happening was that the um, drive wasn't maybe getting enough power or something like that, it couldn't get it out. Anyway, I'll show you how to retrieve a DVD from one of these. So um, let's continue this kind of removal of this. It's going to use a flathead screwdriver just using this one because of the, uh, I can't find my other flathead, but we basically just pry off the bottom of the case. It has this kind of metal tabs that um, you don't need to worry too much about. I'm not too worried about putting this back together because um, it's not going to be that useful, but uh, yeah, it has these metal tabs which hold all together. You might bend it a little bit, but I wouldn't worry too much because I'm not worried about putting this back together. Um, the next thing is we're going to take off the screws. So this is like a standard slot loading uh, DVD drive. You'll find these in a lot of laptops and even in iMacs as well. So uh, let's just take off the necessary screws. So I'm using just a, a small uh, Phillips head screwdriver. So this looks like it's slotted together with some glue. It's not great design. So that's just a standard, that's just a standard SATA port. Uh, and this is just a normal SATA. This is just a normal SATA disc loader. So actually to take this apart. So a lot of slot loaders would have like a button that you press, so I power it on and then press a button to eject it. I cannot see the button here. If you do know where the button is, please leave a comment because it would be interesting to know in the future. And then I can see I've got a DVD stuck in the middle of this. So um, instead of trying to pry it out, I think I'll just take off the screws on the side and then just take off the bottom cover. And uh, that's probably going to be more successful. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got this um, so we've got this last screw under the tape here. And then I want to take off this bracket, these two screws here. Let's take off this bracket too. Then let's see what else we can remove. So annoyingly, a lot of this is held with tape. So I'm going to use my fingers to pull this tape off.
and then there's even more kind of foil tape here. So a lot surprising amount of foil and glue is holding this thing together because this is supposed to be quite a sophisticated device, you know, it's a very it's a very thin DVD player basically. And it's a slot loader, which means you can just push in the, the drive. It means you can just push the uh, the disc inside it and it will just receive it and it won't scratch up the disc. So it's you know it's remarkably thin from compared to the older DVD drives of the past, especially the 3.5 inch massive ones. God, this is so annoying. Okay, so I think that's all the tape gone. This thing is held together with a surprising amount of tape and that tape was hiding these screws here as well. It's very annoying. Okay, good. Okay, great. So this uh, DVD is uh, now fully exposed. Um, I'm just gonna take this DVD out, give it to the client and then the rest of this drive, we can put it back together. Um, but to be honest, because I know that it's broken anyway, it might just be due for a warranty return. Um, don't buy these cheapo slot loaders. Buy one with a button. They used to sell a lot more with the covers open. We can actually physically press a button and then the cover flips open. I like those a lot more than these tiny slot loaders. Um, but uh, anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.